Hello, my name is Benjamin Hart. I'm an American attorney and the managing director of Integrity Legal here in Bangkok, Thailand. In this video today, we're going to be talking about a topic that may be of interest to certain viewers, but um, is probably of great interest to the business of medical marijuana or the business of marijuana in general, and that is recent stirrings and recent announcements that at least some kind of medical marijuana is going to be legalized in the fairly near future here in the kingdom. A recent article from Kausad English at kausadenglish.com and I urge viewers to view to take to just google this headline and take a look at this whole article directly because I only quote a little snippet and then go into my own analysis of the situation but I strongly urge those interested in this check out Kausad English's website Google this headline, Thai Law About to Make Medical Marijuana Legal, um, and check this out in full. But I will just quote a few of the more um, relevant passages here. A recent rewrite of the nation's strict narcotics laws will allow marijuana to be sold legally over the counter with a doctor's prescription. Narcotics Control Board Director Sirinya Sitichai said Tuesday. For medical purposes, they will be able to get the marijuana, but only on a doctor's orders. They can't grow it on their own, Sirinya said. This is what we have put in the draft. The drug laws were rewritten late last year, and those revisions are currently on their way to the cabinet for consideration, Sirinya said. Once the new regulations are approved, they will be put to a vote by the junta-appointed interim parliament. Sirinya said he does not expect any opposition from lawmakers. Doctors in our country are still divided into two opinions, he said. Some fear that if we legalize it for recreational use, children may use it and it may impact their brain development. We're looking at both the good and the bad. I just want to quote that further, that little, that little thing to, to go into my discussion or my sort of monologue on this issue. Um, First of all, I'll believe it when I see it. Um, I do believe that the article was genuine. I do believe there are genuine strides being taken to see medical marijuana legalized. That being said, I do not quite know if I see medical marijuana in Thailand looking very much like, say, the medical marijuana regime in the state of California in the United States, where, yes, it was a medical marijuana regime, but effectively it was a mechanism by which to more broadly distribute marijuana in general. Um, and I'm not going to get into the depth or, or into any detail uh, with, with basically getting into the particulars of California's marijuana law or what this may look like. Uh, apparently there was another report I read that there is a plantation that appears to be being uh, put up in order to facilitate the growing of this kind of marijuana. So I suspect that there is going to be some sort of, for lack of a better term, sort of closed circuit network of uh, both the growing cultivation and later distribution of this material. And again, the other thing to keep in mind is if this requires a doctor's prescription, you know, it's been my experience, doctors in the Kingdom of Thailand are not, you know, for lack of a better term, prescription happy. They're, they're not, they are, they take prescribing drugs of any nature uh, quite seriously. So it remains to be seen just in practice how available medical marijuana is going to be even upon cabinet approval of this. Um, moreover, but it is an interesting thing to look at uh, because I find it interesting that this is something that I think maybe only this government could do because they're in a position to be able to create legislation and enact legislation and put in place um, protocols for allowing this kind of loosening of policy with respect to marijuana uh, simply because they are kind of a law and order regime. I mean, that is uh, really sort of their mandate, for lack of a better term. And I think it's fairly clear, at least in an international context, that the so-called drug war or drug policies that are or strict drug policies especially with respect to marijuana and cannabis, have been ineffectual in some ways and probably not the greatest policy decisions, you know, overall. I'm not, I don't really know where I stand exactly on this issue. I'm not overly 
keen for it to pass per se. I do believe in sort of, and I, I don't mean to get into my own thoughts on this, but I do believe in sort of people's choice to do what they want to do. But that being said, people's choice has an impact on sort of overall society. So I'm, I kind of am take, I take a middle road on all of this. Uh, but that being said, it seems like it's pretty well, it's possibly going to happen. Um, we could see a regime fairly soon in Thailand uh, with respect to, you know, availability of medical marijuana. But that being said, as noted toward the end of what, what, I, what I was quoting, um, the narcotics officer in question uh, noted that don't hold your breath for, I think, it, I think the implication was don't hold your breath uh, to see recreational use of marijuana happen anytime soon um, because doctors still have sort of a split set of opinions on it. And I think also there's something to be said for the law enforcement regulatory infrastructure may not quite be ready for that development. But that being said, uh, the thing to take away from this video is looks to me like medical marijuana may be happening sometime in the fairly near future. Exactly how that regime is going to operate remains to be seen. My personal opinion is at least in the early stages, it's going to be a very tight, very narrow subset of people that are going to be eligible for uh, medical marijuana prescriptions. But that may not be the case. It may look more like California and with wider usage, wider prescription usage of these, of these substances. So uh, probably another video will be made as we know a little bit more with respect to this specific issue.